Hi, my name's Doug, and I'm going to show you how to add Spark to Excel 2007. Office Casual here on the road at CES. Excel is full with numbers, and we've been trying for years to show those numbers, how you can digest them quicker and easier. And let's take a look. So here's your typical Excel chart, lots and lots of numbers, right? In 2007, we introduced conditional formatting. That changed and gave you a graphical representation to your numbers so you quickly digest, okay, which uh, numbers are the biggest or which discount is more. Very quickly, you could do that. Doesn't show anything with trends, though. So what you would have to do with that is usually add a chart to show all the trends. But this gets really confusing when you have you know, more than just a couple of things you're looking at. You have to follow which, which is the blue line and you know, you're like a roller coaster with your finger. But Sparklines, what that's done is added that information right in the row of each Excel chart. So here we've drilled down. So here's each row represented here on the line. And you can even add points to the low point and the high point. Or you can see what's trending lower at the end of the year you might need to work on. Or what's doing better and what's doing well at the end of the year on Highline. So with Spark lines and like all the other formatting here in Office, you can add, it'll give you lots of different variations. You can design it. You can use this line chart or go over and use columns. There's also a win loss area. So, different areas to digest that number. Think of it as an executive summary for each row of data in your Excel chart.